Because who are we? When we can no longer do the one thing we were put on this continent to do. We find a new purpose. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 differences between The Witcher show and books. For this list, we're looking at the most significant deviations from the source material in the first two seasons of Netflix's adaptation. There are a lot of changes, especially in the second season, so we've tried to focus on just the most impactful. Prepare for epic spoilers for both the books and show. It's you. You will destroy us all. I saw it. No one can stop it. What changes did you like? What did you dislike? Be sure to tell us both in the comments. Number 10. The Wild Hunt <laughs> While season one of Netflix's adaptation drew from the short story collections The Last Wish and Sword of Destiny, much of season two is based on the first novel in the saga, Blood of Elves. However, Ciri's encounter with the Wild Hunt in the last episode, when she portals to another sphere, seems to have been inspired by a moment from the next book, Time of Contempt. <laughs> Rebelling against Yennefer's plans to enroll her in Aretuza, Ciri steals a horse and rides off to find Geralt. On the way, the Wild Hunt gives chase, but Yennefer swoops in and fights them off. Child of the Elder Blood, starry-eyed daughter of chaos, join our hunt. Your place is among us. You are ours. Compared to the books, the show has opted to introduce the Wild Hunt earlier, along with Ciri's ability to portal to other worlds. Number 9. Geralt's Fight with Rience. Hello, Siri. It's so nice to finally put a face to a name. Have you met the Michelet brothers? In both Netflix's adaptation and Blood of Elves, the mage Rience is tasked with finding Siri. The show sees Rience interrogate Yaskier, travel to Kaer Morhen, and sneak into the Temple of Melitale. The main battle of the season happens later, against Voleth Mir. While the books still have Rience capture Yaskier, it's Geralt who tracks down and ambushes Rience in Oxenvert. <laughs> the Witcher is aided by Shawnee, a medical student, and the sorceress Philippa Eilhart. This is the climax of the book, a bloody battle that sees Geralt go head-to-head -head with Rience as well as the Michelet brothers. <laughs> Number 8. Francesca and the Scoia'tael while Francesca Findebert is a powerful elven sorceress in the books, her role is very different. A member of the Brotherhood of Sorcerers, she fights with them at Sodden Hill. However, she's also sympathetic towards a group of elves and dwarves called the Scoia'tael, or Squirrels, who ally with Nilfgaard and wage guerrilla war against humans in the Northern Kingdoms. Each sun sets on fewer elves. Our land is stained, our eld is dead. Even our caves at the edge of the world have fallen to monsters. But we mustn't lose faith in a bright elven future. Blood of Elves sees the Scoia'tael ambush Yarpin and his band, which Geralt, Ciri, and Triss are traveling with on their way to the Temple of Melitale. In Time of Contempt, Francesca does make a deal with Nilfgaard, but it's to rule the elven state Dol Blathana rather than for refuge in Sintra. She doesn't become pregnant nor commit infanticide. What is being may not always be. <laughs> Number 7. Yennefer on the Run In the episode What is Lost, Yennefer's relationship with the Brotherhood of Sorcerers takes a serious dive. To say as pet, Yennefer of Bengerberg survived fire magic. 
survived imprisonment by Nilfgaard, survived capture by elves, and now returns to these hallowed halls unscathed? After Stregobor foments suspicions that she's a spy, she's ordered to prove herself by executing Kahir. At the last moment, though, she frees Kahir and flees. In the books, none of this happens. After losing Ciri, Kahir returns to Nilfgaard and is imprisoned. And Yennefer doesn't become a fugitive. This could have major consequences because, in the novel Time of Contempt, Yennefer, Ciri, and Geralt travel to Aretuza, where they're caught up in an event with far-reaching repercussions. The way Season 2 left off, they would not exactly be welcome there. Number 6. The Backstories of the Female Leads While Yennefer and Ciri's backstories remain more or less consistent in the show and books, showrunner Lauren schmidt hisrick has expanded their roles by delving much deeper. <laughs> Rather than meeting Yennefer as a razor-tongued sorceress, we get to watch her go from meek and despised to beautiful, powerful, and respected. The show also follows Ciri's early adventures much more closely. In the books, she meets Geralt in Broccolon after running away from an arranged marriage. You really don't remember how you came to be in Broccolon Forest. Yet you heard it call to you. The next time we see her is when Geralt finds her after the fall of Sintra. While we do eventually learn of events in between, her misadventures with Dara and the serial killer Doppler are exclusive to the show. Kill him! What? Then I'll do it! Wait, no, 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 no! Number 5. Key Battles In the show, we get to see the fall of Sintra from both Ciri and Geralt's points of view. We also follow Yennefer into the Battle of Sodden Hill. However, while these are still pivotal moments in the books, they mostly happen off-screen, so to speak. They're mentioned, and Ciri does have a nightmare of what's called the battle or slaughter of Sintra in the books, but we don't get to experience them blow by blow. Because the Netflix adaptation lets us spend more time with Ciri and Yennefer, we also get to experience these crucial battles in much more detail. Number 4. Brotherhood Power Plays The Brotherhood of Sorcerers is a powerful political body in both the books and the show. However, the adaptation adds in far more internal maneuvering, which doesn't come to the fore in the books until Time of Contempt. They could cross the Yoruga, make it to Sodden by week's end. They could save Sintra. If Sintra falls, who cares? In Season 1, Nilfgaard's plans to invade Sintra splits the Conclave of Northern Mages. The second season sees Taseya partnering up with Vilgefortz to keep Stregobor and Artorias in check. I am not here to glorify my part in our victory in Sodom, nor to watch you perform feigned inquisitions to distract from your failures. It ends with a meeting of Taseya and the Northern Monarchs, who put a bounty on Ciri's head. The closest parallel in Blood of Elves sees the Northern Kings meeting in secret to plan a war on Nilfgaard. Needless to say, the show's take could take future events in a very different direction. They put a bounty on the girl. And anyone who protects her. That's quite barbarous. Even for me. Welcome to the Brotherhood. Number 3. Amir's Secret the second season ended with a huge twist, at least for those new to the franchise. Ciri's father didn't die at sea after all. He is, in fact, Amir, the Emperor of Nilfgaard. And he doesn't seem to be keeping this knowledge a secret. I'm the one who ordered the death of that elven baby. I had to. It was the best path to helping me find my daughter. In the source material, this information is withheld until several books later. 
and that has a huge impact because in the meantime, Amir has been trying to marry Ciri to legitimize his rule over Sintra and impregnate her with the prophesied child of the Elder Blood. When he can't find her, he even marries an imposter Ciri. It is possible that the show is abandoning this plotline altogether and that Ciri herself is the prophesied child. Child of Elder Blood, child of wrath, the time of contempt is nigh. The world will die amidst frost and be reborn of the new sun. Number 2. Yennefer's Magic The aftermath of the Battle of Sodden Hill plays out quite differently in the books. <sighs> Yennefer is blinded by a fireball but recovers. Geralt learns quickly that she survived but doesn't actually see her again until Time of Contempt. It's Triss rather than Yennefer who's mistakenly recorded as dead. In contrast, the show sees Yennefer stripped of her magic, forced to rely on her wits and find new purpose in life. This leads her to team up with Fringilla and Cahir and cut a deal with Voleth Mir. It's a much more tumultuous plotline than in the book. In Blood of Elves, she does rescue Yaskier from Riance, but rather than betraying Ciri, she teaches her magic and bonds with her at the Temple of Melitale. Lesson number one, see the outcome, make it happen. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Elder Blood and Mutagens. Ciri's blood isn't used to create Witcher mutagens in the books. Did it work? It works. Eskel. The books portray the Witcher as polite and don't kill him off. <laughs> the Sandpiper. Yaskier's role as the Sandpiper, smuggling elves to safety, was created for the show. I'm gonna do what I do best. And what's that? Oh, I never really know. That's why I'm so good at it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Deathless Mother I want your desperation, Crisp. You will beg me to take it from you. Voleth Mir is the primary antagonist of the second season. A demon who feeds on pain, she's the puppet master pulling all the strings. Her machinations fuel Frangilla's ambitions, Francesca's quest for vengeance, and Yennefer's betrayal of Ciri and Geralt. How could you do this? She's also behind the climactic final battle, possessing Ciri and slaughtering witchers in Kaer Morhen. And yet she doesn't exist at all in the books. Based on her hut's basilisk legs, she seems to have been inspired by Baba Yaga from Slavic lore, so her presence doesn't feel too incongruous. But Blood of Elves culminates with Geralt's battle with Riance, not with Ciri running amok in the Witcher stronghold. Since Volathmir survives to join the Wild Hunt, we don't seem to have seen the last of her. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.